What is an evangelical Christian? Is there a difference between Christian and evangelical or evangelical Christian? Hi, Alex McFarland here. You know, once again, the word evangelical is much in the news. Now, what does that mean? What's the origin of that term? Do you know, a lot of people think that maybe evangelical came about with Billy Graham in the mid 20th century or, or somebody like Rick Warren and Saddleback Church and The Purpose Driven Life. But would you believe as far as, as we know, the term evangelical is around 500 years old. Now, the word evangelism or good news, uh, that goes all the way back to the Bible, obviously. Now, the, the, word, the Greek word euangelizo means good news or evangelical. Now, what is the good news? Well, the good news is the gospel, how that the Son of God died and rose again, and we put our faith in Jesus and are saved. That's 1 Corinthians 15, 3 through 5. Paul says that the gospel, the good news is that the Son of God gave his life and rose from the dead, and by putting our faith in Jesus, we are saved. But in 1531, William Tyndale, and he is one of the people most responsible for the New Testament being in English. William Tyndale translated from Greek to English, and in 1536, his uh, Greek New Testament put in the English language was completed, but he used the word speaking of the Bible in 1531. Tyndale referred to, quote, the evangelical volume. In other words, the Bible, which contains the good news of salvation in Jesus. Now, throughout the Reformation era in the 1500s, all the way through the 70, really the 1740s, when you had the Pietist movement and you had Calvinists and you had the Wesleyans and the Methodists that believed people needed to put their faith in Christ and be saved, as we do today, I believe that, they were called evangelical Christians because that uh, was the emphasis, the winning of people to Christ through the proclamation of the gospel. And all through colonial America, there were revivalists and evangelists that preached the good news of the gospel. You can believe in Jesus and be saved. Well, nowadays, there are people that are talking about evangelicals that are leftist. Well, look, regardless of whether you're Protestant, Catholic, Orthodox, whatever your uh, denominational flavor might be, I write about in my book, Stand, Core Truths for an Unshakable Faith, that common to all Christians, what is it? Uh, I, I teach an acronym, IVDAR, Inspiration of Scripture, Virgin Birth, the deity of Christ, the atonement, the resurrection, the return. Look, you're an evangelical Christian if you believe the core foundational truths of biblical orthodoxy. The Bible is God's inspired word. Jesus had no sin. He was born of a virgin. He is deity, the one and only Savior. Paid our debt on the cross. That's called the atonement. He rose from the dead. He is going to return. And by putting our faith in Jesus, we are saved. If you believe in Jesus and Christianity, well, you're an evangelical. But folks, my book explains what it means to be a follower of Christ. I hope all the work that we do has made it clear that Jesus is the one and only way. And that's good news, that he loves you. If you need more information, go to my website, alexmcfarland.com. Look at the tab. What does God say about my relationship with him? And tell that good news. I hope that good news has touched your life. So share this video if you would. Like us on social media. Spread the word. The good news is that Jesus is as close by as a prayer. Are you going to vote this fall of 2024? What should be the criteria that should shape 
the choices you make in the voting booth. Hi, Alex McFarland. We've created a first-time voter's guide. You can download it free at my website, which is alexmcfarland.com. I really believe, biblically, your vote, your voice is a stewardship issue. So please vote. Don't waste this opportunity. alexmcfarland.com, the free first-time voter's guide. Check it out.